Hey, what is up heroes and welcome back to some more Pokemon Ultra Moon. In today's episode, we're going to do a bunch more side quests all here on Ula Ula Island. And the first thing we're going to do in Mali City is head back inside the Pokemon Center because we're going to do something really nice. We're going to uh, give Nurse Joy, arguably one of the uh, the hardest working women in all of Pokemon, a nice little break. So we come to this guy right here in the cafe, who I actually never really speak to, but oh, that sounds lovely. <laughs> Go take a break too. And you deserve it. You really do work in 24-7. Be a nice 15 minute will be nice, but my usual please. Come on right up. Thank you. <laughs> so odd, like, not seeing her at the desk, but... Ah. Oh, excuse me. But hey, I think I should get to take a little break sometimes too. Right? Oh, definitely, 100%. You should. <laughs> so you can say, should you? Should you really take a break? I don't know. Right, I get just as tired as the Pokemon do. Uh, arguably. The longer you keep on walking, the further you'll get, right? And the better you rest up, the longer you'll be able to keep on walking. I have to say, seeing injured Pokemon all the time does slowly wear me down, bit by bit. But it's precisely because I want to make them all feel better that I take the time to properly relax and recharge my batteries. Here, a little secret between you and me. Ooh, sharing secrets now, are we? Got some poker beans, nice. And once I duck back around behind my counter, I will be all business again. You'll see. Oh, nice little event with uh, Nurse Joy. Enjoyed our little uh, our little date. <laughs> Pretty short event, but that's quite nice. Kind of shows Nurse Joy is like human and not a robot just working 24/7. Oh, I feel bad for them. I really do. Just work on Pokemon Center all the time. The next little event we're going to do is we are going to head to Potown. Well, just outside Potown, Route 17. We're going to head to the police station. Going to see another familiar face. So, just down here. And wait, a bit further down. There we go, in here. Hmm. So you think you have what it, uh, what it takes? You think you're ready for the island challenge? Yeah, I'm ready. And my mum says I can go too. And I guess I've got to do my job. You have to choose the Pokemon you want to have as your first partner. Yeah! Who's he gonna choose? Meowth? First one up here? This Meowth likes to nap in the grass. Easy going and laid back. <laughs> oh. Next up. A hot-headed meow with a fiery heart. Wouldn't get it angry if I were you. Last but not least, its heart is as big as the sea. The most gentle meow in all of Ula Ula. Oh, tough choice, mate. So, boy, which meow are you gonna choose? <laughs> Damn, man. Three meow to choose from. Wow, no way. I can choose any one I want. Man, this is tough. Which meow should I pick? What brings you here, boy? I figured I'd better perform my kahuna duties, at least from time to time. Hey, island kahuna, I can't decide. What a lot of hassle. They're all so adorable, I don't know what to do. Well, here's someone who's a step ahead of you in the island challenge. Wanna ask? Yeah. Which Meowth should I uh, pick to be my partner? Oh, oh, Meowth? Oh, Meowth. Oh, Meowth. Man, this is like, this is harder than Bulbasaur, Swirl, or Charmander, like no one. I think I have to go with Meowth. You want the hot-headed Meowth? It can cause trouble when it gets mad. Yeah, we want that one. <laughs> oh wow, that Meowth is just the one I was wondering about. I <laughs> hope you plan on saying thanks to the uh, trainer who helped you pick too, kid. Alright, thanks mister. Alright, come on Meowth. Try to contain yourself, if you even can. Don't want to run out of energy so soon. I swear, the kid could have started out from a uh, Hollis Island, but no. <laughs> I love Nano. He's just like, I feel like when I'm older, I want to be him. That is like just my role model. Well, thanks. That helped me finish up my duties for today. Now, guess I can relax for a little while. See you, kid. <laughs> I'm not going to speak to him again. Me, I feel alright. I don't care who you are or anything. Okay, 
Might be like a Lemus trial, like, oh, a little side quest. We came in and out, and like a different quest uh, happened, so maybe we can get another one. Don't know, I'm just gonna double check. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, the last little side quest we are gonna do for today's episode is we are gonna fly back down to Tapu Village. And we are gonna get, I guess, the last Z crystal in the game that I need to get. Like, I've shown off where to get all of the other ones. It's just one I haven't shown off where to get because I didn't know where to get it for a while. And I found out, like, I think last week. But I still haven't got it yet. So, we're going to head back to the ghost trial. And we're going to go inside. Wait, why are you standing there? The abandoned site of the thrifty Megamart. They say it was destroyed because it angered Tapu Bulu. But is that really the truth? If only I could interview Tapu Bulu in person, we can find out what really happened. Do you think if we bring Tapu Bulu to her, she'll like... Something will happen? Oh, we'll, we'll check in a second, we'll check in a second. We'll go through here first. Oh. <laughs> I feel like someone's what. Oh, I need to really pop a repel. I feel like someone's watching me. Right now, I'm more interested in bringing Tapu Bulu to her just to see what happens. I, I doubt anything will happen, but, but I've never seen a shepherd before in the game. Damn, son. Bad. <laughs> Feels bad, man. I've seen too many shepherd lately on Pokemon Go. Too many. Alright, let's quickly pop a repel, otherwise, we're going to be running to a Pokemon every couple of seconds. We don't want that. We really don't want that. Alright, where's my repels at? Oh, fine. oh, too many items, man. Too many items. I really wish like Pokeballs had their own little uh, section as well, but nope. Wait, I think I have to go through one of these, don't you? There you go. Mimikyu, where are you hiding? Oh, oh I can see it. <laughs> Pikachu? Oh, yeah, like that. Everything went dark. Oh. Oh, so you have to say Mimikyu. <laughs> Otherwise, he gets angry. <laughs> hey, you like that? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, tap, tap, tap. Can he footsteps in the dark? Oh, oh. It's a nice angle on my butt. Just. Yep. <laughs> Yo, what up? He's so adorable. Uh, try picking it up. No. <laughs> He's actually really adorable. Like I, I love him cute as it, you know, already. But this makes me love him even more because he's just cute, very cute. Are you gonna open the door again, like for the uh, trial? Yeah, you are. Oh, got a real black Pikachu as well. Uh, I just want to look at the posters on the wall. To be fair, more than anything, but Mimikyu, I choose you. And we get the Mimikyu Z Crystal. Nice. Looks like there's nothing left to do here. No, I want to explore the. I want to look at the photos again. Oh, this guy's there now. Oh, what are you doing back here, Volty? Hey, is that the Mimikyuum Z? Wow, I've never actually seen a piece before. It's really, really rare, you know? How'd you manage to get a piece? You know what happened with Mimikyu? Oh, wow, you really are some kind of trainer, aren't you? Can't believe Mimikyu would actually come to like you that much. She's usually so shy. Never heard of, any, uh, of it doing anything like this. Yeah, is that right? You know, it's pretty hard not to like someone who accepts you for who you are. Pokemon people are alike in that regard. That's my fault anyway. I'm glad that Mimikyu got the chance to meet you, Volsi. Me too. Thank you. From me and Mimikyu both. <laughs> Alright. Well, I'm going to quickly bring Tapu Bulu to her and see if anything happens. I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, so we have Tapu Bulu on the team. Let's see if anything happens. Okay. Oh. What's this? In your party? Is that Tapu Bulu? 
please, let me have an interview. Okay. Is that actually gonna come out? Cause that'd be really cool. Really, I thank you so much. Oh, it'd be so much cooler if it came out as Pokeball and you could have saw that, but just back screen, that's really boring. All right, let's get started. So Tapo Bulu, is it true you're responsible for destroying the uh, 50 Mega Mart here? <laughs> Bululu, I see. You've been evasive about this. Very well, we'll leave that topic for now. But I do have another question for you. How do you feel about the people living here? Bululu. <laughs> hmm, Bululu, interesting. I assume that means it's hard to describe your feelings. Bululu. What? Bululu? What exactly do you mean by that? Tapu Bulu. Bulu. <laughs> Trembling with frustration. No, oh, what a drag. I had more questions to ask. But still, thanks. I should be able to write an interesting article. Here's your payment for the interview. Go on, take it. You've earned it. What did I get for this? Oh, grassy sea? Eh, that's not, not bad, I guess. <laughs> All right. Uh, a truth obscured. Is Tapu Bulu's nature actually careful? How's that sound? Oh, I wish I could ask more questions. Now, uh, now, when you get back to the office and start writing, okay. <laughs> that was a weird event. Like, what? Like, <laughs> I was just thinking, someone at Game Freak's like, I oh, want to put some like events, little like side quests in the uh, in the game. What should we do? I don't know, how about a little weird event with Tapu Bulu and just interviewing someone? Well, saying that, you've got the, the mysterious old man who flies off into space with uh, Soul Rock or Lunatone, so I mean, that's even weirder, but... Oh, man. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, next episode, I'm going to try, 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 try and get the Gladian and um, Lusamine and Moan? Moan? The Gladian's dad, you know, Lusamine's husband. I can't, I can't remember his name. So I was an M. There's an event with that, which is, I think it's like, I know the gist of it, but I know it's really sad, but I want to experience it for myself and just, you know, see all the dialogue. I, I kind of know what happens, but not what's said. Um, try and do that next for the next episode. Then we've got Battle Tree. I still need to do Battle Tree. Um, I'm debating on whether or not how I want to do that. If you guys want to see me do the 10 battles, then battle the special trainer, or do you want to see just maybe three special battles put together? Which is going to take a longer time to do, it means I'm going to have to fight 30 trainers to get the free battles to make one little video of them free battles. So, you can see, either way, it's going to be, it's going to be grindy, grindy, grindy. So, I need to start working on that. And I'm kind of looking forward to it, but not at the same time. But, let me know what you guys want to do. Do you guys want to see Battle Tree battles, or do you want to see the important battles? Because, for me, I think I'd rather just show the free, well, the important battles and do maybe free each episode. That way, it will be... You know, we'll get there. But way, if you guys want to see the ten battles leading up to it, do let me know, and I'll I'll record that as well. But I'm not sure if you guys want to just watch me struggling doing battle tree battles for like you know I don't know how how long would ten battles last? It's got to be double battles, so we're probably looking at about forty five minutes to an hour of me playing bad. But yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.